Lord, today and every day we worship you. We bless you for your unceasing love for us. We rejoice that you continue your graceful initiative with us with the work of your Holy Spirit. We invite him to come into our midst right now and do all that he desires to do. As we await your holy word again, receive this, our worship, in his holy name. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever. Amen. This morning's scripture reading is from Genesis, various verses. The Lord saw how great man's wickedness on the earth had become, and that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. The Lord was grieved that he had made man on earth, and his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind, whom I have created, from the face of the earth, men and animals and creatures that move along the ground and birds of the air, for I am grieved that I have made them. But Noah found favor in the eyes of the Lord. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. Seven days from now I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. And Noah did all that the Lord had commanded him. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I think it's appropriate at this time to mention the fact that if you are out for a Sunday, as I will be next Sunday, and we'll do this exact thing next Monday, um, Tony records all of our services in the back. You can see them in the back, and they are in incredible quality um, and are all found on our YouTube site that you can get to from our website. It's um, youtube.com forward slash my point hope UMC and you'll see VBS videos all kinds of stuff and if you're telling people about our church you can tell them um, they can go to that site and see that as well so potential potential can be a very dangerous thing I was thinking all right what what illustration what image will work the best in going with this and uh, the first one that comes to mind always is all right football's coming and you get excited about your particular team in the preseason and all that, um, I thought, no, nah, it's played out. Plus, that's coming in August. When I come back, I'll be, I'll be fired up, ready to go with football. Um, I thought, okay, I'm now on a committee that I used to go through that committee to be approved for ordained ministry. I'm now on that committee. And on that committee, you're judging potential. Like when Kate went through, they said, look, the kid has got uh, uh, he's got energy he can reach people um, he's fun he's, you know but the organizational you know we're, we're going to go on the potential that he can do these things but you're going to need to shore up these other things in order to move through and I thought well I don't know if that captures it as well as it could have and I thought okay here's the one buying a home when you are buying a home the potential is everywhere Right, you're looking at potential agents. What, you know, what can this agent do? What can this agent do? You're looking at potential houses. You're looking at potentially selling your house. I mean, it is an endeavor unlike any other to um, sell and, and purchase a house. When, when you go through this, I've only done it once. We got a housing allowance in West Ashley, so we could do whatever we wanted. We'd get an apartment, we'd get a house, whatever. Um, we decided to buy a house. We came down one weekend, we came on a Friday. We looked at a house. This is in 2004, and the real estate market is blazing on fire. We came in 04. we looked at a house on Friday. That afternoon, it was off the market. We looked at a house on Saturday. That afternoon, off the market, done. We looked at a house on Sunday, and it was off the market because we took it off the market. We, we just couldn't take it anymore. Um, you look at that house, 
and you're looking through and you're thinking, okay, this, this could go here and that could go here and then you have little debates over which, you know, this could go here. No, I think this will, blah, blah, blah. And you start to get a little, what, about the house? A little emotional. You start to get a little excited, which the real estate agent tells you what? Don't do that. Because when you're emotional and excited, you make great decisions. At times, yes, you might fall into one, but at times you're going to struggle when you feel emotional about it. Now, you think about the potential of moving into that house and everything it could be, and then you get in there and whether it is or whether it is not. Katie and I will have the most trouble if she thinks a particular thing is going to go a particular way in the future and she gets it in her mind and I don't follow through, you know, A to Z on that plan, okay? Because potentially this is what could happen in that day. You start to get emotional about it, you start to feel it. God saw great potential in his creation, which is what? Man and woman. I'm so I can't imagine the great things that you're going to do. You know, you look at the two-month-old, you know, looking around, and you say, I can't imagine what you'll do with your life. I have no idea. God looking at um, Adam and Eve saying the exact same thing, I can't imagine what you'll do. Now, what did they do ultimately? Well, the first thing they did was steal from his tree. The next thing they did was lie about it. And then the next thing they did was complain when the punishment came. Now, they had two children in the beginning, Cain and Abel. Cain and Abel are brothers. What are they going to do? Fight. Well, one day it went a little too far, and uh, Abel's gone. Cain killed him. So, so far, really early on, in two generations, you have stealing, lying, murdering. And so you can see... God's feeling, that emotion about the potential of God's creation kind of going, oh, you know, I was hoping you know, this would happen and then this would happen. And you go from chapter 5, chapter 6, chapter 7, it's interesting. You don't notice it because you just kind of gloss over it because it says, and then Abimelech was born and he lived 900 years and then so-and-so was born. It was about 2,000 years from chapter 6 to chapter 7. 2,000 years goes by rather quickly. And God is feeling very sad. Said God was grieved. God's heart was filled with pain. 